What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today, Destiny is dead. We're going to talk about Destiny being dead, something in Destiny being dead, 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 dead. You know, the whole thing that people love to talk about. But in this case, it might actually be legit. It might actually be true. Now, this is kind of a funny and interesting topic because it's something that I've thought about for quite some time. But I was on the Bungie forums. I know, always a bad idea. Always a bad idea. But I was on the Bungie forums and I was just checking out some of the topics maybe a week ago. And there was one talking about the PvE and PvP split. Something that should be in effect in the game. Something that I definitely agree should be in effect. And whenever I was scrolling down through that topic, of course, there are responses of a wide variety. But whenever I was scrolling down, somebody happened to mention to go to the House of Wolves for the best PvE and PvP experience in Destiny. And that actually got me to thinking. And I happened to put a response in and I said, you know what, House of Wolves is actually whenever I circle Destiny as being the case whenever it actually kills the PvE experience. So that's right, I actually look at House of Wolves as the death of PvE. And I know that's kind of crazy because that's way back in year one. And here we are in year three of Destiny. But to me, House of Wolves killed it. House of Wolves is what ultimately killed PvE. Now you might not agree, but let me go ahead and talk about what my opinion is. And then of course in the comment section below, you can talk about what you think. You can talk about if you think this is what killed PvE. You can talk about if you believe that PvE is not dead. You can talk about the fact if you think that PvE died at some other point, maybe earlier or later. So House of Wolves. Now this is really, really interesting to me. We ended up having our vanilla game and then we got Dark Below just a few months after Vanilla Destiny. And then it was just a wait. It was a wait and a wait and a wait until House of Wolves came out. And it took far, far longer than anybody expected or anticipated. That length between the Dark Below and House of Wolves was definitely not expected by gamers. And I don't know if we were right or wrong in that manner. I think that we were all just basically going off the fact that, hey, we had Vanilla Destiny from September to December. We got Dark Below in December, so maybe sometime around March we should get House of Wolves. That obviously didn't happen. So we had a little bit of a gap, a little bit of a content gap. I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> Thinking about some things later on, kind of crazy. We had, oh, we had like a whopping one or two months extra of a content gap in Destiny. But it was a little bit different in year one because we were actually sold the expansion pack. So we knew exactly what was coming out. Well, we didn't know exactly what was inside the content, but we knew that we were going to get Dark Below and House of Wolves, whatever that actually entailed. We knew we were going to be getting more content, and more content was on its way. So House of Wolves came out just a little bit later than we expected, but in the meantime, for me personally, it was playing the Vault of Glass and playing Crota's End over and over and over again. I was on that hunt for the Gallahorn. I played PvE a lot. Whenever it was reset day, played PvE, played PvE, did the raids, got checkpoints and did the raids from there to make sure I got the exotic chests, make sure I killed the bosses, did all of my chances to go ahead and get those exotic weapons or armor pieces each week, and I would often not get those. And then of course I did the Nightfalls every week on Tuesday, because you wanted to get that blue flame so you could get the extra experience for the week, and that was pretty much it. Whenever I had free time and I was in Destiny, I was running strikes over and over and over again. Or I was just out on patrols running around and just shooting stuff. It was very, very rarely that I ever went into the Crucible. Very, very rarely. And now look at my channel. For basically the last two years, there are barely any PvE videos on that, aside from whenever the new raid comes out. And that's because in the House of Wolves, we got Trials of Osiris. We got Trials of Osiris in no raid. So Trials of Osiris basically became the end game activity. That was the place that you went to go ahead and get by far the best guns in the game. And if you wanted to get those guns, you had to go to the lighthouse. If you wanted to get those with a burn, which actually mattered back in year one. And I personally wanted to get those guns with a burn. Now, at the same time, I was a very, very bad at PvP. Now, I'm not great at PvP right now, but I was significantly worse back in year one. Way, way worse. Like, my PvP stats that I have right now are pretty much me getting better and trying to carry up the god-awful stats that I had way back in year one. 
really, really bad. <laughs> but I wanted to get better. I wanted to do PvP. The only way to get better was to get into the Trials of Osiris and try to go flawless. And it was tough, but that was the activity. That was what I wanted. And because of that, I just started playing Crucible more. I started playing PvP more because I knew when it came time for the weekend, I needed to be better at PvP than I was, and the only way I was going to get better was by actually jumping into the Crucible and practicing and playing. So for me, I basically turned from a PvE player to a PvP player, and I guess if you would say right now, I'm pretty much a very average PvP player, but in my mind I still think to myself as a PvE player. In my mind I still feel like a PvE player, because PvE content I'm actually very good at, PvP content, not so much, <laughs> maybe not so much. So again, something else also happened in House of Wolves. We got no raid, and the raid again was the best place to go for some of the best weapons in the game. Weapons that were set in pre-rolled, like the Fatebringer, the Vision of Confluence, the Corrective Major, the Found Verdict, Praetis Revenge, the Black Hammer. There were some really awesome and amazing weapons in the game, and everybody wanted those. Everybody wanted those. But there was no raid in House of Wolves, again so we went for the Trials of Osiris weapons, but they did have a PvE endgame content, and it was the Prison of Elders. Now wait a second, Prison of Elders actually ended up hurting us as well, because even though Prison of Elders had weapons specific to it, not talking about the exotics, but specific legendary weapons that could also come with a burn, Prison of Elders, instead of a 6-man activity, it was a 3-man activity. Now for those of you that typically go to LFG and find your groups, I would imagine that that probably was easier for you, I imagine, but for people who had other players that they typically raided with, this was actually another death knell for them. It just was. So on a Tuesday night, whenever we were going to do the Vault of Glass or Crota, we would have at least four people, maybe five people, maybe six people, all set and ready to go raid. We might need to LFG one person or two people, but we had four to six people ready to go. Now whenever you move on over to the House of Wolves and you've got an activity that can only take at maximum three people, if you end up having four or five people sitting around raring to go, somebody's going to get left out. And that is exactly what happened with the group of people that I used to run with. People got upset, people got salty, people left. People have never come back to Destiny that I used to play with all the time. House of Wolves absolutely killed groups of people. It killed clans too. So for me, whenever I think about the PvE experience, I think of House of Wolves as absolutely killing it, and I don't know if we're ever going to get that feeling back again. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos, good luck with your raids, your drops, your PvE, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag so dead.